Hey wave riders, let's slide off the Cretaceous shoreline and dive deep into the western interior seaway. Imagine a vast, warm, green ocean splitting North America in two, where chalk constantly falls from the surface like a gentle underwater snow. Down here, below the sunlit chop, a massive shadow glides through the water, writing elegant calligraphy through the shafts of light. This is Elasmosaurus, a plesiosaur with a neck so ridiculously long it almost looks like a dare from evolution itself. We're talking over 70 vertebrae, more than any other animal, ever. This incredible neck threaded a head that was only about the size of a loaf of bread, right into the middle of unsuspecting fish skulls. The genius of Elasmosaurus was its hunting strategy, pure patience. Its huge body would stay hidden in the deeper, darker water, while that long, serpentine neck would snake out with tiny, precise adjustments. Then, snap! The jaws would close on fish that never even saw the massive torso lurking just out of sight. It was the ultimate stealth attack. Now, let's talk about those flippers. Think of them as an all-wheel drive system for the ocean. The powerful downstroke was paired, front and back allowing this giant to hover perfectly still, pivot on a dime, or surge forward like an underwater quadcopter. But that neck? It wasn't a whip for high-speed chases. It had too many joints and not enough leverage. And it wasn't a periscope, either. It was a reach optimizer, a tool designed for one thing, stealth feeding. When paleontologists find elasmosaurus fossils, they often discover smooth, polished stones in the stomach area, called gastrolites. These weren't for grinding food. Instead, Elasmosaurus swallowed them to act as ballast, fine-tuning its buoyancy so it could hang motionless in the water, without giving away its position with unnecessary fin beads. It was a master of energy conservation. Of course, the western interior seaway was a busy and dangerous place. Giant mosasaurs owned the ambush lanes. Ancient sharks lurked in the gloom and even toothed seabirds like Hasperornis would slice through the water column. Each predator had its own niche. Elasmosaurus didn't compete with speed. It owned the strategy of stretch without approach. It controlled the engagement by separating its senses and its strike from the bulk of its body. As the geological clock ticked on, the seaway eventually retreated. The chalk factories shut down, and the long-neck specialists like Elasmosaurus disappeared forever. But their evolutionary lesson remains a masterclass in bioengineering. If this deep dive into stealthy sea giants gets your inner diver excited, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and let us know in the comments which seaway specialist we should unspool next. Thanks for watching.